Hello YouTube, it's me here again. Today we have another evolution. This one is 7 77. Convert it to fully gas um, with a magnet ring, a new prop hub as well, center ring. Um, at the back here, you can see the spaces. Those spaces are 5 millimeters longer than the original. WT carb as well, uh, seven cylinder unit, one unit with one uh, sensor coming from the ring. There, uh, this engine is being operated with a very small micro pump. This is here, um, it's already on, already, it's already prime, very quiet. Um, works from 4.8 right up to a two cell light pole. I'm running a 6.6 .6 on it. That's more than enough for what this engine is asking for. Um, once it's prime, you will shut yourself off automatically. Then once the engine starts, it will start again to pump fuel again. On the ignition, I have a two cell. Um, yeah, two cell. So that's a 4.7 volts. Um, this engine is John. Send it for me. I did it after for them. Um, I'm gonna send it back to him. Uh, the fuel I'm running is 20 to 1 mix on that. Um, so very windy today. So I'm sorry if the uh, audio of this video is not too healthy. Um, it's really nice and warm there, but it's really windy otherwise. So let's give it a start and see how it goes.
So as you can see, the uh, holes the, the RPM really steady through the mid range um, between the 2000 going up to 3, going up to 4, going up to 5. The top RPM I'm getting with this prop is a 22 by 8 so on the small side. It's uh, 68. On the top RPM, I'm getting with this. The engine is still brand new, so I'm taking it easy with it. John will finish do the running in once he's get it back, um, probably on Tuesday. Um, so I got a few questions about timing on this uh, this engine. Adrian, my good mate at CH Ignition, he already have a video on YouTube showing how to do the timing on these seven cylinders. It's really simple. It's just as the uh, Sato three cylinders um, with the dual output sensor. Um, so this here, I use this uh, cylinder, basically that little flag. That's my number one cylinder. That's what I use. You could use this one if you want. That's up to you. So I use that, get your piston stop, put it in, you'll find top dead center. Then you install all the rings you you make sure you use loctite on these or if you get the bolt on start still use loctite get everything nice and secure you put your ring on or your sensor bracket then you put your projector wheel if you buy the kit from me or whatever you buy from your projector um, to identify your zero and 30 degrees so you find top dead center with your number one cylinder, put everything on nice and tight and snug. Then you rotate the engine this way, which is the opposite direction where the uh, engine is running. So that's uh, clockwise. So you rotate it clockwise to 30 degrees. Um, so you 30 degrees from your top dead center then you rotate your magnet ring the magnet ring have a indicator with a green magnet so that's the only magnet you're gonna time the other rest is already evenly spaced so you just time that towards the center so you need to rotate again find top dead center rotate your whole engine 30 degrees clockwise then you rotate the magnet ring anti-clockwise until this green magnet meets the sensor you don't want it to pass the sensor you want it to meet it and once it triggers the timing device or if you're using the CH ignition but have a green light on it as well you could use that ignition to do the timings very clever stuff aging there so you could, if you're using the CH ignition, you use that same uh, ignition during the timing or if you're using the timing device that I sell as well. You just wait until green light come on and that's your timing set for your 7 cylinder. And as well, it's the same thing for the 9 cylinder engine as well. So that's it for me. Stay tuned for more great videos to come. And as well, you check in the description of the video, you find links to all these parts to convert your engine. Okay, that's it. All right, bye.